All right, what I'm going to show you how to do is use Google Draw to create a Venn diagram. So Google Draw is a, an app in the Google Docs suite. So here we have a new document, and I've titled it Mayan and Aztec Venn Diagram. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the background color. Right-click, background, and choose a color that I want. Okay, so now I have a nice parchment-colored background. Now I'm going to take some shapes to create the Venn Diagram itself. So I'm going to start with a circle, make my first circle. Next, you want to change the color here so that the circle is transparent, so you can see the overlap. Now I'm going to make a copy of that circle, Control c paste another circle, Control v and then move it in place so that we have the Venn diagram. Oh, it looks like we should make it a little bit larger. All right, so now we have our circles in place for the Venn diagram. Now we're going to give it a title. Find an Aztec Venn diagram. Okay, make the title a little bit larger. And now we're set to make it usable for the students. You're going to take the text box, and you're going to make text box in the places where you want the students to write. So there's a text box. Make another one for those similarities. And then make a final one for the differences over here. Then you want to make sure to label each side so the students know which side belongs to which. So this would be mine facts. And over here would be as tech. All right. And now we're ready to make it shareable so that the students can make a copy of it and then use it themselves. So what I usually do is I change the document title and put master in parenthesis so that the students know that this is the master copy. Next, you want to make it shareable. So you click the share options, and you can do it two different ways. You can give it to any student that has a link, or you can just make it public on the web. I typically use any student with the link. So I change the settings anyone with the link, and save it. So you're going to want to send this link somehow, either embedded in a web page or email it, to, email it to the students directly, this link right here. So once they have that link and their Google Docs is open themselves, they can go to File, make a copy of, click OK. And now they've made the copy or the document their own. So they would just click the title, change it from master to the student name, get rid of this copy here, and now they're ready to work. So when they want to write in the facts, they would just double click and then write fact one, or whatever fact that is. Double click over here if they want to write, write fact one, and then click in the center if they want to do a comparison right back here. So this is one way that you can use Google Draw to, to, do, to create a graphic organizer, in this case a Venn diagram. Another graphic organizer that we've done in the past with Google Draw is we've made a double bubble compare contrast chart. So here's a, an example of a student work where this student was comparing the Aztec society and their practices and ceremonies and religion with that of modern day society. This was set up the same way with shapes and then putting the text boxes over the top of the shapes so that the students can just double click and type in their information. Here, obviously, this is embedded on a website. So what this student did was when he or she finished creating the diagram, they went over here to share and then went through the publishing options to actually embed this document into their own blog. So they can select, they, she looks like he or she selected Medium, took this source code, embedded it into her portfolio. So that's how you use Google Draw to create graphic organizers.